In this video, we will talk about the Philippines Trays app and we will go through the complete step-by-step -step procedure. We will discuss what is the Trays app and then answer if this is required to enter the Philippines. Then we will walk you through the whole process from download and installation, registration, activation, and then show you with the demo how this app is supposed to be used at the airport. Ipapakita po namin kung paano nga ba ginagamit ang Trace app sa mga paliparan sa Pilipinas. We will also answer some of the most commonly asked questions about Trace. Like, do you need to register for all passengers, including infants and children? And how can you do it? Then we will discuss the most controversial topic about the Trace app if it is really required to enter the Philippines. Let's begin. What is TRACE? TRACE is the Philippines' official, unified, and automated free contact tracing app in the Philippines. Who is required to install it? The TRACE app is not a new app. In fact, the Department of Transportation have required all airport passengers in and out of the country to download and register an account in the TRACE contact tracing app since November 28, 2020. So almost mag one year old na po ang TRACE app. TRACE is required from all people entering and leaving domestic and international airports in the Philippines. Ang TRACE ay required para makapasok at makalabas ng mga paliparan ng Pilipinas. Ito po ay batay sa mga patakaran na inilahad ng DOT at Civil Aviation Board of the Philippines. Now before we go to the step-by-step -step procedure, if you are still in doubt because a lot of Filipinos who had traveled to the Philippines claimed that the TRACE app was not used at all. In our previous community post, tinanong po namin kayo sa inyong actual na experience at lahat po ng nagbigay ng feedback, ang isinagot na ay hindi raw hinanap ang Trace app. Okay, I trust that what you said is true based on your experience. However, I will still recommend that the other passengers install the Trace app because not all passengers' experience will be the same. Because in the guidelines by the airlines, Flying into and out of the Philippines, it is stated there that trace is mandatory. So, tignan po natin ang guidelines ng inyong mga airlines. First, let's look at Philippine Airlines. If you check both arrival and departure guidelines, you will see that trace is a mandatory app. The same is true in Saudi. It says there that trace is mandatory in the Philippines. In Japan Airlines, it's specified that trace is required in the Philippines. Qatar Airways, Trace is a must in the Philippines. Emirates, Trace is required app in the Philippines. Okay, we can go on and on but I am sure that all airline guidelines will tell you that Trace is required in the Philippines. So required daw po, sabi ng mga airlines. Ngayon, i-install pa ba natin is eh, sabi ng ibang pasahero, hindi raw hinanap. Ang opinion ko po at marin kong inire-recommenda, i-install pa rin po ninyo kasi Ito po ay nakasaad na required sa inyong mga airline guidelines. For example po, na pwedeng mangyari, ano pong gagawin natin kung biglang hanapin sa atin at hindi tayo pasakayin during check-in dahil lang wala tayo nitong trace na to. I will leave the decision to you but I highly recommend that you do install it. So if you are convinced that you need to install and register this app, then let's proceed. If not, I would recommend that you please check with your airlines. Okay, step 1 is download and install. So madali lang po, parang nung nag-install lang kayo ng Facebook at TikTok, go to the App Store or Play Store or whichever exists in your smartphone. Type Trace then Install. After the app is installed, open it and it will look like this. Just click proceed and allow the Trace app access to your camera and gallery. Then we can proceed to the next. Now click on start tracing, read the very long terms of use and click I agree. Click on start tracing again. Now we can go to step number 2 which is registration. Click on register. Then here, click individual. Let's zoom a little bit. This is what you should select, individual. 
then you will be asked to create a username, password, and input some of your details. Now, you have to remember your username and password. I suggest to write it down on a paper para hindi po makalimutan. Then, you have to click this to upload a profile picture. Now, let's repeat. You will register as individual, then read the very long terms of use, then click I agree. Then, you will need to upload your picture, complete your personal information, then after you have done that, you have to enter your verification code and then your registration is now completed. You can click on Trace Me to see your Trace account and QR. You can click the profile and there you will see your information. The third step is activate your account. To do this, you have to log in using the details you provided earlier. So, during registration, you created a username and password. So, tulad po ng sinabi namin, dapat po ay isinulat ito sa papel para hindi na makalimutan. Paano naman po pag nakalimutan ninyo? Pag nangyari po, i-uninstall lang ang Trace app at i-install ulit at ulitin lamang po ang pag-register at pag-activate simula sa step 1. Now, just input your username and password and click login and then this will appear just click activate your account enter the verification code and then it's done your account is now activated now let's go to the most interesting part paano nga ba ito gagamitin how are you supposed to use it at the airport When you enter the airports in the Philippines, you will see the QR code of the airport. You have to trace it. So sa madaling salita po, sa trace ay parang ire-record ninyo lamang kung saan at anong oras kayo nandun sa lugar na yon. Para kung mayroon pong COVID transmission sa lugar at oras na yon, manunotify po kayo at makakapag-ingat at mamomonitor ni po ninyo ang inyong kalusugan. So when you are at the airport, open your trace app and then click trace QR code and it will look like your camera has been activated. So, itapat lang po ang camera at isentro ang QR code ng lugar and then this will appear. It means that you have successfully traced the airport. So, nakarecord na po sa inyo ang pecha at oras na andun kayo sa airport. Sa Mactan Cebu Airport, you can find something like this. If not, just ask the airport staff. In Clark at the entrance, you will see the QR code. And of course, also in Manila. So, ulitin po natin. Pagdating ninyo ng airport, open your Trace app. Click Start Tracing. Then click Trace QR code. Then use the camera to scan the QR code. Then the details of the date and time when you are there will be in your Trace history. So, Paano naman po yung mga walang smartphone or nahihirapan sa smartphone? Para po sa mga nasa ibang bansa, magpatulong po sa mga kamag-anak, mga anak, mga apo. Para naman po sa mga nasa Pilipinas at paalis papunta sa ibang bansa, mayroon pong mga malasakit help desk. Magpunta lamang po doon at tutulungan po nila kayo sa pag-register ng Trace app kahit wala po kayong smartphone. Paano naman po yung mga walang internet connection? Okay lang po, once you have already installed, registered, and activated your account, you do not need an internet connection at the airport to use the trace. It will work both online or offline. Now, this is one of the most problematic part. Is it necessary to register every passenger, even minors or infants? Let's answer the first question. Yes, it is required for all passengers, but there is a way to add another person kahit wala silang smartphone. Click the profile, then you will see your profile. Supposedly, you can add another person like your child, yung mga baby o mga maliliit na bata dahil wala naman silang sariling smartphone. So you can just click the plus button. The problem is, at the moment, it is not working. So... That is really very, very bad. I have tried and tried and I always get an error. Same po ba ang experience nyo? Sana naman po ay hindi. Pero 
I tried to look up the reviews and a lot of people are really encountering this error at the moment. So, this app is required but if you are traveling as a family, this app will be a nightmare. So, I hope na i-fix ito ng mga developer. For the meantime, if you are encountering this problem, then no choice po. You have to register for all. So, gumawa din po ulit ng account para sa mga bata. I-follow po ulit ang steps 1 to 4. So, kung apat kayo, then apat na registrations. Pwedeng isang email lang ang gamitin. Ang mahalaga po, isulat po lahat ng username at password sa papel para po hindi makalimutan. So, just in case na hanapin, hopefully may internet kayo sa airport kung nasa ibang bansa po kayo para po mailag in ninyo ang accounts po ng inyong buong pamilya. So God bless you all po. Wishing you a safe journey. Stay safe po palagi. Like and share the video. Salamat po sa inyong lahat.